I am Alfonso. I am Simone. I am Mark. I am Kate. I am Samantha. Before I had a mentor, my school life was really hard. I wasn't confident. I was shy to talk to people. I felt like I wasn't myself the whole time. I never fitted in much. Didn't have that confidence. Never really wanted to talk to anybody, but at the same time I did. I didn't really know what I was actually doing with my life and I was kind of at a loss. It would be like one class after another and I was just trying to get through. I didn't feel a part of the whole community and the school. I was just, I was going to school but I wasn't doing the things that I should be doing. I was not listening to anyone, not speaking to anyone because I didn't feel as if they were listening to me. I felt a bit anxious to like put my dreams and all that, like go to college, just because I don't get my friends like lonely or don't been happy I just like just like scared I didn't have any encourage myself to go and talk to people I was always a close person just at the fact that you don't have nobody to talk about it because you're shy that some people will laugh at you or they won't understand what you're trying to say in school I was always I was always being told what to do and when to do it and basically getting orders and I didn't I didn't want that kind of relationship with anyone I was not a person who moaned much about their problems, but deep down I really felt like I needed to, something to change. My future just might be alright, just no like sad or angry or like that, just like be happy. I felt that it was almost over for me. The idea originated when I was working in the care system, um, helping sorting out um, three organisations, um, which was relatively easy to do, and you know, I thought we'd done a good job in sorting them out, but actually it made no difference to the young people at all. You know, their outcomes were the same. As soon as we started to look at this particular group of young people as a cohort within the overall school cohort, it became really apparent that they were being provided with the same access to the same teachers, to the same learning environment, to the same classroom engagement, but the actual, them as individuals, their engagement with all of that, the outcomes were a lot poorer. And that really started the seed of this as to why is that the case? Why do we have young people who are talented, um, as every young person is, but have absolutely no basis or way or opportunity or in fact bridge to be able to go and realise what they're capable of. And the idea was essentially about spending time with them, personal one-to-one -one basis because that's what I found from experience really worked. I was always very aware um, that young people within the care system needed that wee bit extra, something that wasn't a social worker, not a teacher, um, and I thought I could maybe do that. If I could do something um, by giving up an hour a week to make a difference to a young person's life, then that would absolutely be worthwhile. It's a very complex world. Um, these are young people with uh, very often additional needs, living chaotic lifestyles, and whatever help and support we can give them, I think we owe it to them. I think that it's a good way to help the young people to try and achieve some goals. Having taught for a number of years in an area where a lot of kids, I saw potential that, that, that was being wasted. And I thought, if I can do something that helps some kids like that, that to make the most of what they can do, then that would be something worthwhile. Sadly, in the care system generally within Scotland at the moment, and between 80 and 85% of young people will leave on or before they're 16, just simply down to that experience. And that has nothing to do with the education system, that's just their experience of it. 
And what we saw in St Andrews actually was even less number were staying on, despite the fact the school was a fantastic school, um, they just weren't engaging, so we had only 4% would stay on um, after 16. What we immediately saw is just young people wanting to stay. You know, if we bring it right up to date, we're now over 70% stay on beyond 16. So that gave us some hard evidence to support the stories, the individual stories and what we saw in the contact and engagement of young people. Schools are so busy, they're constant, and every time I saw a mentor coming through the door, it was like the cavalry coming to help. It was like this great feeling of, here is our mentor, here's Johnny's mentor, or Josephine's mentor, and they're coming to help. They have their back, schools do but do not have the time for that one-to-one -one support and putting that young person as a person right at the centre of the world for that meeting time. I wanted to help my young person find confidence in their own ability. I wanted to help them find what they wanted to do and to encourage them to get the most out of their education. I wanted my young person to find herself. Most of them don't really believe that they are special. So it's important that somebody was there who kept reminding them of that. And just make it a nice experience for them, as it is for me, I would have to say. And I think what they require uh, to reach their potential and their aspirations is just to have that little helping hand along the way. With my mentor, I got a strong belief that I will go and reach the university and be a successful student. My mentor helped me find myself as a person, as she was always there to listen to me. Now she's more than a mentor, she's a friend. My mentor helped me find where I wanted to go. It helped me get meetings with the, the people in the college that I'm at now, and also helped me go to open days and stuff like that. She helped me find a lot of joy and happiness. She really put a smile on my face sometimes. Well, a lot of the time. She helped me find confidence that I never had. I like her so much. <laughs> she was like, get no Liz, Liz is getting to know each other a bit better. She would get to listen to me, to help me with subjects, it's like my English, maths, history, anything like that, she could help with it. With my mentor, he helped me open up my R and he actually gave me the encouragement I needed to go to uni. So I'm, I'm kind of shocked because I was always felt that people like me, I'm from a very low income house and I'm like the first person in my family to actually go to uni. It has made me a more better individual, a more confident in what I do and my actions. Um, and I know what I'm doing with my life and I know what I want to achieve in my life and I'm on my way to achieve that. And that's generally, if I'm being honest, thanks to this mentoring programme. When we first started in St Andrews, we had only 31% of our care experienced young people and those that were most disadvantaged going to college, university or getting a job from school. What we took that to within the five year period of where this was really formed um, is up to 76%, so more than doubling the young people that were then going on to college, university or a job. So the hard evidence is really what's persuaded everyone that's involved that this actually only works. There's nothing else that it does. And at its heart is just that relationship. That is the bridge. You know, we've concluded the bridge, and anyone can help build this bridge, is just spending time and being there and listening for no other reason than you care. Bridges, talent and opportunity. There is no question of that. One of the biggest things for me is a smile a young person's smile, now whether that's the shyest smile or whether it's the biggest, cheesiest grin ever, seeing a young person feel good about themselves and desperately bursting to share whatever it is that's making them feel good with you is amazing. It's not simply a one-way street. I personally enjoyed working with this young person. I got to know her, I think, fairly well. Uh, and at the end, she's gone on, I think, 
to lock yourself into a, a successful future career and that's tremendously satisfying. Every week it's now difficult to shut him up because he's just more and more caught and he tells me more and more about um, stuff he wants to do and things in school. I've definitely got uh, a new pal out of being a mentor, that's for sure anyway. I find men mentoring rewarding. You certainly get a sense of uh, personal satisfaction out of it. The young person that I mentored uh, is now doing a, a college course uh, on introduction to automobiles and if he succeeds in that he'll then go on to an apprenticeship or else another college course so I think that's a success story. I find it easy to fit mentoring into my working day. Um, in fact, it's one of the highlights of my week. Uh, going to see my young person, get some time with them, actually energises me for the rest of the day. I really look forward to, to doing my mentoring. I look forward to seeing my young person every week. Every week it's different and I feel the relationship is growing. It's great being part of something that, that has been shown to work. It works. One day we sat down and it was like a light bulb moment. All of a sudden, he started telling me how his life would pan out from possibly the age of 18, how he'd possibly have to leave home, he'd have to get a flat, he would have to get an apprenticeship or a college course. And I thought, wow, this has all been worthwhile. It's really easy um, to spend 50 minutes with my young person um, during school hours. Um, to try and help her through the difficulty of being a teenager. I think if anyone is interested in mentoring, then they should realise that they don't need to be some kind of extra special person. It's important that you be yourself, and all you need to do is to be there to remind them that it's up to them what they achieve, they will have done through their own efforts. But try it, it's worthwhile. What I've got out of it is to see the difference that it's made to my young person's life um, in the time that I've known her. Um, when I met her, she was a very angry um, little girl who had a big chip on her shoulder. Um, and she has become a beautiful young lady who wants to go out and grab the world by both hands. If you become a mentor, I can study towards becoming a social worker and give more children and young people opportunities. I can become an art therapist to help people find their inner smiles. I can become a successful engineer, make the world a better place and change the environment. I can study social care and I can look after when you get older. I can be sure I'm making the best decision of my life. You can make people like me go into university, study psychology, politics and history and I will be changing the world one day, um, just what you see. Everyone can do it. You know, people do ask, you know, am I good enough? Do I have enough skill? You know, how can I actually work and sit and be with a young person? You know, we have 1,500 people registered and we will have two, 3,000 in due course. We have no doubt of that and we have as many under 35 as over 65. We have 43% male, you know, relative to female. We've got from managing directors of companies through to taxi drivers. This represents every walk of life. It represents every age group, gender. You know, this is absolutely fully inclusive of what we have as a population, and that's where we get the belief and the confidence from. It is for you, you know, it is for you. Anyone can do it. All you have to do is just want to spend that 50 minutes a week with a young person for no other reason than you care and just be there.